To my beloved wife, you will never know how grateful I am that you have come into my life, and words can never fully describe my love for you. I thank God for this blessing of you in my life as my wife, looking forward to forever with the Lord, with you, my love. I love you. Sam, I can't wait to marry you and spend the rest of my life with you. Should have known it was you I would love until the end. Ooh. Every moment stole my breath Bet you could see it in my smile Should have known it was you I would love until the end Growing up when I was a kid, we bounced in and out of churches, left and right, never really stuck, never got to know God. After I joined the military, I started sin followed drinking and smoking, didn't like it. And then when my life fell apart, when I found out I was getting separated from the military, I kept spiraling and spiraling. It wasn't until Kathy harped on me to reach out to Aaliyah, who's now thank blue by the grace of God, she's now gonna be my wife here in a few minutes. So, I'm forever thankful for everything God's done in my life and all glory to God for everything he's going to do from here on out. Um, I want to thank God for all the things that He has brought me through. I also want to thank my family. They have always been there for me. Um, I grew up in church and I gave my life to Jesus when I was 13. Um, I would say I had a very close relationship with God um, for a long time. A few years ago I got very upset um, about where I was in life and I fell into a deep depression and I got mad at God. Um, but. No matter which way um, I turned, God always showed himself faithful and sent me reminders and special people to help me, um, well, to help me see that he never left me. Um, one of those people was Sam, and um, I seen how God wanted, or how he wanted God to change him and how he did change him, and I realized that I needed that change too. Um, and even through our own like personal struggles and the obstacles that faced us, um, he never left and he never gave up on us. Um, and I'm forever grateful. Um, and um, I just can't wait until um, grow with him and Beta and for our life together. In Jesus' name, Lord, put your mighty hand of favor and blessing to their lives. Cover them all the days of their life, my God. Bless this union in fruitfulness, in blessing, in longevity and joy. God, give them strength of character as a husband. Give my brother every bit his strength he needs. And my sister, the blessing to be a handmaiden of the living God. And join their lives in joyfulness and blessing. We pronounce upon them your blessing of the marriage union in Jesus' name. Amen. You can kiss your bride. Here they are, Mr. and Mrs. Sam Beach. I met Sam as he came to church, and I remember just going up to him, you know, just trying to make a conversation. It was mostly one way. Uh, he didn't have a lot to say, um, but just something drew me to him, you know, constantly just just care about him, you know, because that was what was done for me 23 years ago when I gave my life to Christ. There was people in this church that, you know, helped me along the way, and, and I found, you know, forgiveness in Christ, and they helped me in my marriage. And so it's amazing how, you know, as you fast forward time, you know, God begins to deal with you to help people. And 
I'm, I'm just thankful for the relationship I have with Sam. Um, I, met, I was able to see him grow over the last 13 months uh, in his relationship with God and, and just as a man in general. And I remember getting a call and, you know, he's like, hey, you know, you want to go out, uh, get something to eat? And, you know, it just reminded me of what I used to do to, with him. And so I guess he, he learned quick and uh, he knew the, the fastest way to my heart was food. So, so we went out for pizza and he said, I got something to ask you. And I was like, sure. <laughs> and then he said, I want you to be my best man. And I was like, wow, you know, because you know, I'm not a youngin like he is. <laughs> I think I almost teared up a little bit because, you know, it's, it's just a privilege to see a uh, growth in somebody's life. And, you know, Sam, you know, one of the things I love about Sam just over the last 13 months is his willingness just to be open and honest. You know, he would call and ask like legitimate questions, you know, uh, of just marriage and the church and what we do and why we do certain things. And he just wanted to learn, you know. I would always tell him like, I'm proud of you, you know, because some people won't ask questions and some people won't want to talk to headship, you know, and, and he would do that. And, and I, I think he's got a great future. I know he's got a great future in God and in this marriage. I couldn't be happier for Aaliyah. You know, we, we've known her uh, since she was super, super little. And uh, um, her mom used to watch my daughter when my daughter was super, super little. So uh, just to come full circle and see what God is doing in their lives it's amazing i'm proud of you sam love you and uh i just want nothing for the but the best for you and Aaliyah. and uh keep asking questions keep growing in christ put them first and the rest is history you'll be fine Aaliyah, i want you to do something put your hand on the table no on that side Sam, put your hand on top of hers. Now look deep into Sam's eyes and tell him you love him. Sam, do the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen a married man have the last word and the upper hand. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, their marriage will not be like that. But, okay. okay. Aaliyah, I will say today is not a surprise for me since Aaliyah, the very first time she called me, she FaceTimed me, and she was telling me about this new convert that she's bringing out to church and I was like oh who's this new convert and she was just kind of she could not stop smiling I'm like okay it's a guy but she said no his name's Sam and this and that. I'm like okay and I was like she said the moment she met you she knew especially when it started getting real and the moment I met you I knew too so congrats we're here today but anyway being an only child it is very hard to realize what it's like to have a sibling Aaliyah, you're the closest thing I have to a sibling, so there. <laughs> okay. You have not only been the sister I've always wanted, but also you have been my tummy heart. And, ooh. Okay, sorry. And I know for a fact that her dream has always been to be a wife and a mom. And I know for a fact that that's going to be huge. Because you're going to be a great role model for Veda. And also an ex example of what it is like to be a good, like, godly woman and mom. Sam, you are everything she's ever wanted, so there's maybe a couple things that you don't know about her that I'm going to tell you. I'm kidding. I, I just got it censored. But <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. She sleep talks, so don't say I never warned you. Sometimes it gets scary. You will never, ever have a full piece of gum again. And then also, at the most random times, you will be having to clean your glasses. So please make sure you've got a little eye wipe on you. And as for you guys as a couple, I have seen a lot of great marriages and so have you in this church. But there was always one thing that was at the forefront of it and that was God. So you two, same thing off of what Antonio said. Please keep following God, serve him, and he will give you the heart's desires. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Dietz. Hey, 
Sam and Aaliyah, we just wanted to say congratulations on your wedding day. This is awesome. You guys have a terrific wedding, a lot of support, a lot of family and friends. And we just want to wish you well. You guys uh, are off to a great start. You're a wonderful couple, and you guys are going to do great things in the future. We really believe that. Hi, Sam and Aaliyah. We're so excited for you guys. You guys are a wonderful couple, and we're excited to see all that God's going to do. And Aaliyah, you are just so beautiful. And Sam, we're so excited for you, and um, we just we love you guys. With Leah and Sam, um, we are so happy for you for this day. Um, Leah, we know you. You know you've always wanted to be married from a you know a young age. You know we talked, and I'm so I'm so happy that it's happened for you. And Sam, we love you. We're glad that you and Leah are together, and we're glad that this is this is working. And we will have you over, and we'll have lots of fellowship, and we'll play lots of games. Love you guys. Congratulations, y'all. Just want to let you know, Sam, you are allowed to call me Grandpappy, and you can call her Grandmammy if you want, and you still have our number, so call us when you need us, all right? We love you guys. Have a good good uh, honeymoon. Hey, Aaliyah. We just wanted to say congratulations to you and your new husband. Um, I watched you grow up to a beautiful young woman, and we're very, very proud of you, and we pray that you guys have a wonderful life together. We love you. Congratulations. We're happy for you guys. We're so happy for you guys. Excited for you. I love you, Aaliyah. And Sam, thank you for making her happy. Hi, hey. Sam and Aaliyah. <laughs> we just wanted to <laughs> congratulate you. Can we do this again? Okay. Sam and Aaliyah, we just wanted to say congratulations. We love you. Veda was really good during the wedding. Congratulations. Yes, we just want to congratulate you. <laughs> hey, Sam and Aliyah, congratulations. God bless you. Have, I wish you have your all like a wonderful future ahead. Hello, Sam and Aliyah. This is hello, Sam and Aliyah. This is Nanny and Poppy. We certainly wish you a wonderful life. And you know, Nanny and Poppy and I've been married 51 years, and we hope you guys are married longer than that. So God bless you. Follow Christ and enjoy life and enjoy each other more than you ever would would want to. Here's Nanny. Hey Sam, Poppy and I are so proud of both of you, your accomplishments, and I know your marriage together will be a wonderful travel of life together, and you'll make many accomplishments with the help of the Lord. We love you both so much. God bless you. Aaliyah and Sam, we love you guys so much. We're so happy and excited for you guys. Aaliyah, we've known you since you were like being held in a baby carriage. <laughs> and I remember the uh, time in third grade when I was a teacher assistant and got to be around you. Love getting to know you. You'll always be the number one best young servant. You guys have a wonderful marriage. And so excited and happy for you guys. It's going to be beautiful. Enjoy the adventure and the ride. Sam, just always what Pastor said. We always work everything out. Um, and you're going to make a, a lot of good years of marriage. Tamara? Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> now, we're really so excited for you guys. Aaliyah, we love the crap out of you, and you guys are going to be wonderful. Okay. Do great things. Love you guys, man. Sorry. Bye. Congratulations, Sam and Aaliyah. We want to thank you. Or we want to thank you. Um, we want to congratulate you on your um, wedding, and um, we hope that you guys have a great future together, and we just want to encourage you just to... Um, Marriage is a great thing, and you can, you know, you guys look great together, and we just wish you the best. Um, I think if, if I have a little bit of advice, it's just, like, don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, and just compromise is a great thing. Working together and coming to uh, uh, a, a compromise, I guess, is just the best thing you can do. And one of the best tips that we got in our, we had, we had like a tip jar at our wedding, and so one of the best tips that we got was don't go to bed angry. And that honestly has helped out so much. Just deal it out, deal with it right away. <laughs> yeah, prayer and uh, yeah, it's prayer and you know, just serving God is gonna help. That's gonna be the biggest help to you guys. Um, whenever we fight, whenever anything happens, the greatest thing that we have, that which we never do, rarely, it's very rare. But the greatest thing is that we can come to Christ, our foundation was in Christ, yes. and we can always come back to that. Yeah. And um, I, that's the, probably the greatest or the best advice that I can give to you. So, um, love you guys. Yeah, congratulations. Hope you guys are the best. Sam and Aaliyah, congratulations on your marriage. Uh, 
So a couple of words of advice, never go to bed angry. And since you have a little child, never argue in front of your child. Always take it into another room and discuss it there. And love one another always. God bless. Hey, Aaliyah, I just want to wish you um, a beautiful and happy marriage. I just want to say that I love you so much. You've always been amazing. And I know that God put you in my life for a reason. There were times when I was down and I didn't know what I was going to do when you would randomly send me a text and ask if I needed prayer about anything. And um, I just love you. I just know that you're going to be an amazing wife, an amazing mother. And um, I pray that God blesses you with all of your desires. I love you and your family so much. I wish you nothing but the best. Love you, girl. Long married, many children. Congratulations, how many years ago? Hey, oh, that's, uh, I love you. Love you, 